Hi there, here's a uh, free video on an Xbox 360 wireless controller connected to a PC um, to verify that it's connected properly and everything. You click start, go to run, open up, uh, you type in joy.cpl. Um, if you don't have a run button on your start menu, you can actually uh, hit the Windows key and the R key, which will give you a run by a lockbox. Um, as you can see here, the controller is already highlighted. Um, if you type this in and you don't have a control uh, controller listed in this applet, chances are your gamepad is off or your controller is off. Um, hit the X button in the center there of your controller to turn it on and it'll appear here. If it doesn't, um, you know, the rudimentary thing, check the batteries, make sure they're charged up, whatever. Um, move over here, click properties. And here is the uh, controller's um, test properties applet. So uh, here you can see button one, the green button, button two, the red one, button three, blue, button four, yellow, um, button five, the button in behind on the back uh, of the uh, left digital control, button six behind the color buttons on the right. Um, the little button beside the left of the X button on the controller. The little button on the right of the X button on the controller. Those are seven and eight. Pushing down on the digital control on the left is button nine. Pushing down on the digital control on the right is 10. Uh, you can see the, uh, the button control here. Um, I'm just cycling around it up, down upper left diagonal, lower right diagonal. Um, digital control on the left and the digital control on the right. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, sorry, I turned it off. Turn that back on. And then those Z axis buttons in the back there. So, um, sort of takes care of that. Um, well, we're on this note here. Um, let me show you guys an app that's worth downloading. Um, this is called Joystick to Mouse. This allows you to use your gamepad to control your mouse. So you basically, basically are porting out your mouse controls to your gamepad. You can assign whatever you want. Um, naturally, there's more buttons, more joysticks on your gamepad than there is on the, uh, the mouse. So you can do whatever you want, sky's the limit, there's profiles here with different buttons, so on and so forth. Um, you can assign whatever values you want, uh, themes, so for instance, uh, you can cycle through these, you'll see there's different, you know, Winamp, Windows operations, whatever you want to do, you can set it up, sky's the limit with this. Uh, free to download, it's absolutely fantastic, a uh, full slew of options, highly recommend it. Um, main. Um, same thing, you can go into main, um, your default options, whatever. Um, everybody's main setup's different. Uh, this one I haven't completely tweaked out yet, but uh, just for, for giggles, I will show you. Uh, let's, uh, let's do a bubble bobble. So, here you can see I'm using an Xbox 360. I'm sorry, because my mouse. I haven't locked it on the screen. So when the mouse cursor leaves, um, as you can see when I moved Bob there, same thing. But anyways, that's just to show you. Um, I have to run it in window mode because the screen capturing software wouldn't really grab it, but um, it does work. Uh, works for all the other games too. Um, Dark Souls, Resident Evil, uh, Civ V, uh, depending on um, you know what whatever game you're running, you might have to configure your controller differently or whatever. But it all does work. Um, you can go to Microsoft site um, for the driver. Uh, if you have any issues finding it, um, where is it? It's right here. Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Plus. Properties driver, there you go. So, uh, I hope that shines a little bit of light on the 360 controller. Um, as I mentioned before, um, 
I don't know if I did mention before actually, but you do need a dongle to connect it to your PC. Um, you can get an aftermarket, um, even the aftermarket controllers that look like the Xbox 360 are relatively, they're all the same. Um, I shouldn't say that you're going to have certain guys are going to be, no, they're not the same, Microsoft stuff's OEM, and yeah, yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Um, you can, and I should mention too, is if you hold down the X button, um, after you've installed the driver, you get this funky little thing there that shows you its controller one plus the uh, quadrant, upper left quadrant of the outer portion there is lit up, indicating controller one. Um, either controller two, I think it's the one on the right, would be lit up, so on and so forth. We're showing that two controllers are connected. Um, so I have two controllers in my living room. Um, the computer that I'm using now is in my office, so uh, one controller just for, you know, myself and my keen around, you know, between jobs or whatever, want to play a game of uh, Galaga or Bubble Bobble or something, but uh, anyways, I hope that shines some light on the Xbox 360 controller. Thanks for watching.